This is a portrait of James Todd Smith, who you might know as LL Cool J, the rapper, the music entrepreneur, and now the actor. And it was painted by a very talented young African-American artist named Kahindi Wiley. And you look at it, and here's this celebration of a career in show business, which had been going on, of course, for years. All the way back to the 1800s, we have portraits in our collection of singers and actors and musicians. And you look at it and you say, wow, this is really great. It's a striking picture. You follow it from the earring in his right ear all the way down through the ring on his left hand. In the upper right, there's a little, almost like a royal seal with the Kangol cap and the boom box and the boxing gloves. And it's got this incredibly decorative background to it. It's a great portrait, it's a great likeness, but Kehinde Wiley, who's, in addition to being talented, really smart, he does something really interesting in this portrait. He's making direct reference to a painting that was done in the late 19th century by John Singer Sargent of John D. Rockefeller, the great baron of Standard Oil, the multimillionaire, if not billionaire, one of the richest men in America, the man who founds the Rockefeller political dynasty, the Rockefeller fortune, and all the rest of it. And what Kendi Wiley does with LL Cool J is pose him exactly as John Singer Sargent posed John D. Rockefeller. So what you have at the end of the day is this African-American portraitist painting an African-American celebrity and superstar, himself a millionaire because of his work in culture, and taking the visual vocabulary, the visual iconography of this grand manner portrait which celebrated America's quintessential millionaire, taking it over and turning it into an icon of modern African-American youth. It's also, of course, if you look at it closely, a great example of modern portrait painting. If you look at the way in which the wallpaper, the decorative elements in the back are fashioned, the way in which the likeness is created, this imperious gaze, which on the one hand speaks to the way in which rappers and hip hop stars hold themselves in a kind of pose of aggressive defiance looking down at you, but it's also exactly the pose when people criticize the hip hop stars. It was exactly the pose of John D. Rockefeller.